Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Jeffree Star dropping the announcement on his channel of his upcoming Morphe collab. If you have not already seen my video from yesterday of Jeffree Star getting accused of giving a biased review of the Morphe Foundation, then I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how the fuck are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome the fuck back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. Opinions are not facts. I invite you guys to do the research for yourselves as well by watching other people's videos and coming back to the comment section so we can have a healthy adult conversation down below. Please do not send hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these videos are here for. They are just here for us to spill a little tea, throw a little shade, and have a messy ass time on the internet. The wait is finally over for all of you Jeffree Star fans out there who have been speculating what Jeffree Star is going to come out in collaboration with Morphe. Earlier today, Jeffree Star released a video over on his main channel called Jeffree Star by Morphe The Reveal. If you have been a diehard Jeffree Star fan or just someone who has followed him since his beginning here on YouTube, then you would know in 2016 he made a video where he showed off some pink chrome brushes that were going to be in collaboration with Morphe. As time went on, people started to wonder where these Jeffree Star by Morphe brushes are. Why did they not come out? The rumors on the internet started swirling. People thought that Jaclyn Hill had something to do with it. Other people just thought that his brand was growing too quickly. Well, Jeffree, in this video at the beginning, decided he was finally going to put all all the rumors to rest and just address why these brushes never came out and here's what he had to say a lot of you have been asking even to this day where are the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes where are they whatever happened to this whatever happened to that and I've always kind of like skated by but the real tea is Morphe and my brand were both growing very fast and at the time it just was not right it didn't feel right we had started an idea but then they were skyrocketing I was skyrocketing and you guys years Years went by and I was like, okay, I would love to revisit this idea. When I decided to put my brand into the Morphe stores, it was such a big deal to me because you guys know I am not into retail, but we have grown together and built such an amazing partnership. Um, I thought it was time to make something magical. I will tell you one thing that I am looking forward to more than anything with the launch of this Jeffree Star brush collection is seeing if like Manny, Laura, or any of those people that are affiliated with Morphe are going to give this a review because you know they are going to want to try so hard to steer clear from it, but Morphe just puts those claws into them and is like, no, you need to review this because girl, we got to make some coin. A little rundown of what Jeffree Star is actually coming out with in this Morphe collaboration is a seven piece brush set, which a lot of people have mixed reviews about, but he's also coming out with a limited edition version of their beauty sponge. You're going to get the normal normal size and then you're going to get two mini ones to go with it. The brush collection which features the seven brushes is going to retail for $49. They go as follows. JS1 size queen brush, JS2 point blank precision brush, JS3 iconic contour brush, JS4 fly high brush, JS5 crease queen brush, JS6 rule blender brush, and the JS7 double trouble brush. You also get the starstruck bag. Something a lot of people are having a question about is the placement of the spoolie brush. Because if you flip it over in the photos, then you would see it's a very sharp precision eyebrow brush. I don't know. Some people are saying they could use it for their lips. I'm not exactly sure, but they're wondering why they decided to take the picture of the spoolie instead of the actual brush. In Jeffree Star's actual video about these brushes, he said that he wanted to design it so it was a sharper point because every brush that he's had has either been too fat, the bristles are too thick, and it just makes his eyebrows look weird. So he wanted to create the perfect brush for everyone. So why not show it off in the photos? And just to finish the rundown of everything you can get in this Jeffree Star Morphe collaboration, they're also going to have the Jeffree Star Beauty Sponge Trio. It's the three custom beauty sponges which are going to retail for $16. This will all be available on February 5th. And if you are someone who has enough brushes and you just want to pick up one or two to support Jeffree Star, then I do know that the brushes are going to be available individually as well. In store, I'm not so certain about, but online for sure. One thing that a lot of people are betting on for this launch between Jeffree Star and Morphe is that the quality is actually going to be good. Because you know Jeffree Star himself is a huge stickler for quality and he does not want to put anything cheap or disgusting on his face. 
Even though the rumors of Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration has been around for a while now, a lot of his diehard fans and followers have been left very underwhelmed by the announcement of this upcoming brush set. One person on Twitter had the following to say, I love Jeffree Star, but to be honest, I was expecting something more big, like a palette. Kinda disappointed. Another person said, I mean, it's just kinda boring. I mean, I already have brushes, and I already have a sponge. It's just not that exciting. I'm extremely happy for him, but it's meh. Another person said the following, Extremely underwhelmed. Like, I love the ad, and then you get to the product, and it's like, it's an avocado. Thanks. This morning when I went over to Morphe's Instagram to check their launch, I went to the comments and saw these immediately when I clicked on it. Someone said, was expecting more. This still looks cool, though. Okay, I'm disappointed. This is disappointing. Not what I expected, and they got the date wrong. They got the date wrong in the Instagram post. It's supposed to say 2019. Someone typed 2018. It is just a little slip up, but girl, if you're running someone's social media shit, make sure you're posting the same thing. We are a month into 2019, so those little mistakes with 2018 should be left in January. I do want to say that a lot of people are wondering why Jeffree Star decided not to come out with a palette collab with Morphe. I don't think that he should. He has his own brand and he has his own formula, so why would he literally junk that up with some Morphe quality products? Do you get what I'm saying? I also kind of feel like maybe he had to finish this Morphe brush project with him because maybe he signed a contract back in the day because it's not like it's that exciting of a launch that people are like, oh my God, this is groundbreaking. I can't believe this is coming out. It is just seven brushes for $49. And a lot of people are having some critiques already on the internet. Like why do these brushes look like some run of the mill AliExpress cheap brushes with just a different color handle? There are a lot of comparisons going out about Jeffree Star's new Morphe brushes that are coming out with Wet n Wild, Tarte, AliExpress. A lot of people have the same handles. I guess only time will tell if the quality of these brushes is going to be great because you have the synthetic ones, but then you also have the real hair ones that he included. So some have the pink bristles, some have the white bristles. I think at this point, at least for me, you know what you're getting when it comes to Morphe collaborations. You know what you're getting when it comes to Morphe brushes in general. It's either hit or miss. Do I think this collaboration is going to sell out at seven brushes for $49? Of course I do. It has Jeffree Star's name on it. So congratulations to him. Do I also know that you could probably go to AliExpress or Wish and get the same quality brushes with the same handle, maybe just a different color for cheaper? Yes, of course I do. That's fact. Just Google it for yourself. In my opinion, the collaboration is not that exciting for me. It's more marketed towards the people that are the diehard Jeffree Star fans. That's why they're going to want the three custom bubblegum pink sponges, and they're going to want the brush set that has his name plus Morphe on top of it. Is this the collaboration from Jeffree Star that you were excited about? A lot of people were saying that they expected him to collab with another brand that was not Morphe and just to continue selling his stuff in the Morphe store locations, but no collaboration. So are you excited about this collaboration? Is this a collaboration you're going to pick up? Are you going to pass on it? Do you think it's just meh, some brushes, it's not that exciting? Let me know your thoughts down below. And now let's talk about this girl who's going down the rabbit hole like Gabby Hanna. If you do not want to wait until Jeffree Star's collab comes out on February 5th, then you can go and check out Gabby DiMartino's Instagram story, Snapchat story, wherever, because she is now falling down the same rabbit hole that Gabby Hanna went down with Kenza Cosmetics. I know it's weird. Why are they both named Gabby? It's like these brands just prey on people whose names start with the G. But she is pushing the free brush sets that are valued at $100, $120. You get them for free. Just pay $9.99 per set. $9.99 per set for shipping and handling. That doesn't even make any sense, but here is what she had to say over on her Snapchat. I wanna share this awesome deal with you guys. This website called Louis Garnier is now offering 300 sets of makeup brushes in the next 24 hours. They're destocking last year's stock, and all you have to do is pay for shipping per makeup brush set, and that's only a fee of $9.99. So you have so many collections to choose from. There's the Diamond Golds, the Marble Set, the Formula One, the Foundation. I decided to go with Diamond Golds. I ordered this one. I love it. It's definitely worth buying now from Louis Garnier before the 24 hours end. I think it's so pretty. Rose Gold and Blush for Valentine's Day. I think you guys should check these out. You can buy for yourself or for your friends. And if you're a boy, you can buy it for your girlfriend or for your sister. I recommend using priority delivery so that it gets to you faster. And yeah, swipe up for free makeup brushes. 
I am not even going to go into detail about how she said if you're a boy, you could buy for your girlfriend or for your sister, because I have received a lot of comments about it asking my opinion, and here it is. I think that she was just trying to get the Snapchat out. She wanted to get it over with. I think that you could look at her in her video and tell that she's kind of uneasy about this sponsorship, and so I think it just came out of her mouth. I don't think she meant anything negative by it, or that if you're a boy, you can only have a girlfriend or a sister. I don't see it that way, but can someone please get this girl to stop doing these damn sponsorships for these fucking brushes. I thought we left the damn brushes in 2018. They should have already gotten rid of their stock back in January if they even had a stock. You guys know it's drop shipping. These websites are lying to you. If you see brushes that are zero dollars and you want to pay the $9.99, that is fine. That is good. But do not believe that you're getting a $100 brush set, a $120 brush set. No, you are getting the AliExpress. You're getting from probably where Morphe is stocking their brushes from, and it's the same quality. You're not getting anything special. I honestly cannot believe that these brush scams are still going around. I don't know why influencers, YouTubers, or anyone that even watches these videos would believe that you're getting $100 brush sets for $0 because they're getting rid of inventory. I mean, it's brushes. It's not like they come out with a new model every year. It's not a fucking car. Like, you go down to the car lot and they're like, yeah, we got our 2020 models in. So we took everything else to those lots in America where just cars sit because people couldn't use them, so they're just sitting out there. It's not like that. So the whole, like, we're getting rid of our inventory because we're coming out with newer models. Like, girl, no one believes that bullshit. So I hope people really do their research into companies like that in the future. That is it for this video, you guys. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below on this upcoming Jeffree Star Morphe brush launch that's going to be happening. If you're going to get them, if you're going to let them pass, let me know everything down below. And that is it. As I said, please follow all of my social media, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.